is. Horton jockey change there. Irving heads them. Bertie Moore you've heard all about. Sea Lord for AP McCoy and John Ferguson. Sign of a victory is favourite and Cheltenian we've just been speaking with Philip about. Calypto for Paul Nichols and Sam Twist and Davis. Gas and Golf for a big Richard Lee graded double. Tom Scudamore takes the ride. A Violet Dancer is the mount of Leighton Aspel for Gary Moore. Cinders and Ashes and Roman Flight. If and but why not? For Jonathan Burke and David O'Mara. Handiwork, Steve Gollings and Sean Bowen. And Cool McCavity, also for Nicky Henderson, ridden by Nico de Boinville. Before they get to the start, and the horse right in the middle of the shot, Graham, is a horse that I think will thrive in today's conditions. Sign of a victory. Yeah. Well, I, I thought this was the perfect race for him a good while ago. Now, you have to forgive a couple of ordinary runs, yes. but they were on winter ground. Yeah. Today he has the spring ground that really should see him come back to form. Whether that's good enough remains to be seen. This is going to be a lively market. Down to Tanya and Reed. It certainly is a lively mark, and I don't know how much longer the sign of a victory will be 4-1 for. One four. He's the subject of the, the pun. Irving is a victory. This is music to their ears because he loves a fast pace. He loves quick ground. He's got the right things going for him today, Simon. Yes, and uh, this is a champion hurdle, the Scottish champion hurdle, but uh, it is a handicap and 14 runners. So, plenty of money on offer, you can get the fields as they run towards the first, and Bertimont is the first to show from Violet Dancer, Sea Lord right there, under AP McCoy in the black jacket. On the left is Irving in a noseband, further left, Gas Angle as they jump the first flight. Cinders and Ashes towards the far side in a noseband, just behind Cheltenian in light blue, Richard Johnson. Pearl Castle towards the centre, pink cap is Calypto. Then if and but, why not, just inside Gas Angolf. Followed uh, by, after Pearl Castle, Kulma Cavity, sign of a victory is held up towards the rear of the field. The leader, Violet Dancer, wrapped that hot flight pretty hard. A reminder for Roman flight towards the back from Handiwork as they run past the stands. And Irving is now second last, just ahead of Handiwork. So, a circuit to cover in this uh, QTS Scottish champion hurdle. And Violet Dancer from Bertie Mont in second. Cheltenian up the inside of Calypto, then Sea Lord as they round this left-hand turn. And they are followed then uh, by Cinders and Ashes, the inner of Pearl Castle and Gas and Golf, if and but why not. And then behind these call cool McCavity, sign of a victory, Irving on the outside, Roman Flight and Handiwork. Now into the back straight and Violet Dancer, the Betfair hurdle winner earlier in the season in the deep winter. Leads by a couple of lengths to Bertimont and Harry Skelton in second. Sea Lord third in the black jacket. Followed by Calypto on the near side, light blue colours, Cheltenium. Then Gas and Golf for the Lees. If and but why not is wider. Cinders and Ashes towards the right of your picture and a noseman jumping there just ahead of Pearl Castle. Then Kulma Cavity, sign of a victory, Roman flight. Irving still towards the back. Maybe just bumped along for a couple of strides by Nick Schofield and Handiwork as they go on towards the next five out. The leader just trailing a hind leg. Mistake by Gas and Golf there. Purple and yellow jacket. Tom Scudamore needs to try and recover now as they head on towards the last flight in the back straight. And Violet Dancer and Late Naspel already on the mark today aboard Puff and Billy in the opener. Leading to Bertie Mont in second. Calypto moves up on the outside of Cheltenian. Down is Cinders and Ashes. The horse is up pretty quickly. Henry Brook taking the fall there. About to swing left-handed now. Out of the back straight. And Bertie Mont has headed Violet Dancer as they begin to group together. Sea Lord is right there, so too Calypto, and then after these if and but why not, with a sweeping run round the outside, sign of a victory is now stalking them in the black and white jacket, along with Gas and Golf as Violet Dancer loses ground, into the home straight three flights left to jump, Bertimont gets a kick in the belly, but hasn't put it to bed yet, if and but why not coming there with Sea Lord, Calypto Cheltenian on the extreme right, light blue, then sign of a victory getting ever closer from Gas and and golf they head now towards the second last Cheltenian is challenging if and but why not Cheltenian if and but why not sign of a victory Sea Lord under McCoy in fourth then Bertimont and Gas and Golf on now to the final flight is Cheltenian Richard Johnson just out in front of sign of a victory at the last Cheltenian joined by sign of a victory as they make their way up the running not much to choose between them they're locked together they're clear of if and but why not Cheltenian near side a sign of a victory no 
one stronger than Johnson. Cheltenian's out in front and he's just going to get there and wins the Scottish champion hurdle for the Hobbs team. Followed by a sign of a victory. Flashing home was handiwork to dispute third with if and but why not. Then came uh, after those Calypto, Gassan, Golf, Bertimont, Cool McCavity, uh, Sea Lord, well beaten, Pearl Castle and uh, towards the rear Roman Flight and Violet Dancer and Irving ran very disappointingly. These are the closing stages. Cheltenian sticking his neck out here under Richard Johnson, who's very strong in a finish to repel sign of a victory and Andrew Tinkler. And they actually ended up on the chase course beyond the winning post. Uh, so they just drifting left on the run-in. So a double for Richard Johnson here at air this afternoon.